Um, Before I start, I would like to just remind you of a couple of things. Uh, after you finished uh, watching the video, uh, please go down below and uh, comment and subscribe. Uh, if you want to comment and if you want to watch uh, something new or you need to understand something uh, different that you need me to make a video for it, just let me know and I'll be trying to help you. Uh, and if you do subscribe, uh, usually when I upload uh, a video on YouTube, you will get notified right away. So you won't miss anything. Uh, right now, uh, this video is about cutting hearts and it's coming next on AG2 Lapidary. Hello everyone. Someone asked me uh, a while back that how can you cut uh, a heart? And I think the reason for the question is uh, how can you cut the edge or the top portion of the heart uh, on a wheel. And what I did here is I got uh, this one here. It's a regular heart shape that everybody uh, basically make. And um, it's made out of uh, rose quartz. I made another one, which is this one here. It's a little bit fancy design. Uh, from uh, Brazilian agate and again uh, you could see the uh, center here on the top uh, how it's going to be. Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut the uh, all around the shape and get a 10 degree uh, for the girdle on both of them and then when it comes to the point where I have to cut this area I will uh, come back and I will show you how to cut it. Uh, now this here is a little bit of fancy design because it's it's uh, uh, the shape is just uh, hand drawn. There is no template for it, and you could see that curvature down here at the bottom. So I'll, I will show you also how you can uh, do this area here. Um, but one thing I want to make sure that you understand is cutting this portion here when you trim it with the saw. You have to watch how far uh, you're going to go down at the bottom where your line is because what's going to happen is your saw, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, it will from the bottoms actually cut further in uh, than what you're seeing uh, on the top or your mark. So I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that. And I'm not sure if you could actually see this, but here it is. You could actually see the cut it's a little bit further in than what the mark is now i can fix this one here when i'm cutting i, I will do that but uh, you know even though i was watching uh, what i'm doing uh, i still went a little bit further in so uh, that's one thing one area you got to watch when when you're cutting uh, uh, going towards the lines that you're making even if you're going from any other side uh, you got to watch how you are going to do this. For instance, when you cut here, uh, you, you can't just do the curvature on a on a regular saw because what's going to happen is you're going to bend the blade and you're going to have a problem with it. So uh, don't try to go or follow the line. You got to go straight lines uh, on all your cut. One thing you could do is you go in from this end and cut straight lines but also make sure that you don't go too far here because you're going to cut the back like I showed you before. And then you can come down from here and just cut each one and it will come off and then you go to the next one and this will come off and so forth until you go. Uh, but you get the idea of what I'm saying because you don't want to have your saw blade cutting into your, your actual part. So now uh, I'm going to shape it around. Actually, I'm going to shape both of them. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you uh, just this area here on the top, how it's going to work. Right now, I'm roughing the uh, profile uh, of the heart on a 100 uh, diamond wheel. Uh, the, I'm not going to go all the way to the line uh, just for roughing. So I'm going to stay away from it because the 100 grid, it will uh, chip the... Uh, the stone at the edges, so I'm going to stay away from it. And then when I go uh, to the 20 uh, to, or 220 rather, 
then I can uh, finish it to the shape that I actually need. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm going uh, on this video I'm fast forwarding uh, the area where you actually don't need to uh, or you know exactly how to cut it but I'm going to slow down to the regular speed just to show you uh, the the area where I'm going to cut at the top of the uh, uh, the heart. Now here I'm using the 220 and I'm getting closer to the uh, profile that I have and uh, in a second right now you're going to see here I'm doing the uh, right at the top and I have to go now and you could see here I'm using the right the edge of the hard wheel to go in and cut that V uh, on the top of the heart and one thing you gotta watch is you, you're using right now I'm using the right hand side of the wheel doing the left side of the stone and then I'm going to use the left side of the wheel to do the right side of the stone. So keep an eye on that. And one of the things that you have to watch is that uh, when you get, when you're cutting one side, watch very carefully that you don't hit with the edge of the wheel the other side of the uh, of the stone. Because what's going to happen, you're going to go in and if you push too hard, and you move it towards the other side you're gonna create a groove right in there and then you need you have to remove it and by removing it you're cutting more material uh, not only that uh, you don't want to especially when you you're towards the end and you're finishing uh, you don't want to do that because then you have to go back and recut uh, just to eliminate that groove now this one here it has the uh, profile that I, I told you before with this profile here now, what you're going to need is you got to cut it uh, using the surface of the wheel or the diameter of that wheel in order to get. Now, I'm going to show you that in a second. Right now, I'm just trying to uh, get the V area or the top of the heart uh, shape properly. And then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do the other side. Now, here you could see uh, what I'm talking about getting into that V. This is not finished yet. This is just roughing right now and I'm trying to um, get that shape that you want. And like I said, make sure that you don't hit the other side. Even this one here has a little neck and you could actually see it. Now here I'm going to do the uh, uh, that profile or the side curvature and I'm going to use the wheel. Uh, this wheel here is uh, 8 inch uh, diameter and I'm going to use that to get that surface. Now the cut, what I did is probably you could see it's a little bit deeper in the center, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to take away from the top and I'm going to take away from uh, the bottom until I get that surface. You could do a couple of things here. You could actually, if you want to see what you're doing, you could highlight uh, that surface with a Sharpie. So everything is black. And then when you start cutting, you will see where you're cutting and uh, once you remove all that black surface uh, that you did then you know that you're 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 good to go here i don't i don't really need to do that because i can see it and you probably will too and you'll see what you're cutting i don't know if you notice that uh, at the tip of the heart there is a, a cut that was done when i was cutting these slabs before but that's not a big deal. I can fix that later on. And yeah, this is just for uh, to show you what I'm doing here, or how to cut a heart. So uh, this here, I'm still gonna keep cutting that profile until I get it done. And if you're using a six inch uh, diameter wheel, uh, the profile would be a little bit different, and it will be actually more curvature to it than the eight inch. Now here I'm using like you can see that all hard wheels and uh, with the hard wheels I can go in the corner like you see here and when I push in you, you won't be able if it's a soft wheel you're gonna push it right in and you won't get the sharpness of that surface uh, that's why you gotta use uh, the hard wheels now like I mentioned before this is the 220 and right now I'm shaping uh, the stone 
the sheet. So I'm just uh, cutting the uh, edges right now. I'm trying to blend them in and round them off uh, at the top. So the whole thing, it's exactly the same like normally you do when you're cutting a cab. The uh, only difference on the hearts is that you have to watch how you you got to use the sides of the uh, uh, the diamond wheel in order to create that groove in the heart. That's all you need to do and, and using both sides. Uh, and I, I have to stress that you always have to watch when you're doing one side is not to nick the other side with the uh, with the diamond wheel because that's going to create a groove um, and you have to remove it. Now I'm doing also that curvature and if you notice that I will turn my hands a little bit and uh, and get that, that, that surface done. Here I'm doing the corner and I'm using, uh, like I mentioned, I'm using the left side uh, to do the right as you could see here. So now the right side it's all basically roughed out. It's not finished, it's only roughed out. And you can see these uh, edges, uh, this is gonna go later on. Now I'm gonna go and just round off these edges, and then here I'm doing the left side of the heart. And uh, again, it's the same uh, work that I did on the right hand side, and I'm gonna do it on the left. So the rest of it is, is so simple. It, it, it just you gotta watch how you're gonna uh, create that V groove, and uh, once you know, then then you're you're good to go. The rest of it is the same. Like uh, if you've seen my videos on uh, how to cut a cabochon, uh, it's the same way. So now here I'm gonna just round the all the edges. Here I'm going fast because basically you don't need to watch this. It's all the same. Now you gotta remember another thing is that uh, this here is still the 220 wheel. And then I have to go to the 600 and to finish the uh, the shape, uh, finalize the shape that I have. And from the 600, then I got to go to all the uh, 1200 uh, and and which is the other wheels that I'm going to do my polishing with. And after these wheels, I'm going to go to the uh, 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 polishing using sodium oxide. So here again, you going into the uh, corner and uh, just trying to eliminate any uh, scratches on it. There you go. See, just fine touch, get all these rough edges. Make sure you move around very Good here, back again to the uh, profile, the side profile. Okay, here it is. Now the other side is done. And remember, like I said, this is the uh, 220. But uh, still you gotta go to the 600, which you can uh, finish a little bit better than what it is here. And then you keep going to the uh, finishing. Now here, this is this is the other uh, uh, the rose quartz that uh, was I showed you earlier at the beginning. And the rose quartz, it's a regular uh, profile which most people do. And you'll do the same thing like we did with the uh, Brazilian agate. Uh, this here, it seems to me, it's it's a little bit softer than the uh, Brazilian agate. But even though the rose quartz, the uh, hardness of the rose quartz is about the same. Actually, it is seven uh, on the mass scale. And the uh, the hardness on the Brazilian agate, it's about six and a half to seven. 
uh, on the muscle. So it's almost about the same thing, but this one here, it feels like it's a little bit softer uh, than the uh, Brazilian egg. Uh, so I'm doing exactly the same like I did before. Um, and this one here, I don't have to do the side profile, just straightforward cut, uh, blending it in. Now, the other thing is you could see me here using my hands, cutting both of them. And the reason for that, uh, you get more control in order to do the uh, the V on the top of the uh, the heart. Normally, I don't use my hand. I usually use a dop stick because you will have better control with the dop stick uh, if you're cutting a regular uh, cabochon. This here, like I said, because of the groove, uh, I have to use my hand in order to get into the side and uh, do the uh, the top like you see here. Uh, if I use the dop in it, you could just imagine that the dop is underneath and is going to be inside towards the wheel and that will uh, make it very hard for me uh, to actually cut that chip or to put that uh, V on the top of the heart. Here I got a, uh, the back is kind of sharp so I'm just going to round off uh, the edges uh, using the 220 so might as well do it right now and uh, and do it all around. And here you go, see, uh, like if, this is exactly is the same like the other one. You can see here now it, it's almost there. Remember I still have to go on the 600 wheels and then finish it but basically it's all the same this is a lot faster because you don't have to do uh, the fancy design on the like I did on the other one but again you have to use that edge so the whole trick is using that edge that sharp edge on a hard wheel uh, if it's a soft wheel you won't be able to use it because pushing it in uh, it will it will give in with the wheel so you won't be able to have that nice crisp um, sharp edge or uh, actually groove that's on your uh, on your heart uh, so if you don't have a uh, uh, sharp or a hard wheel uh, you might have a little bit of problem you got to use other things uh, like a flat lap maybe uh, that will work also but it's going to be tougher to use uh, it's not the same as when you get a uh, uh, these diamond wheels. Now here it's not, uh, it's, it's almost there. Now you can see now I have the groove right in. Uh, 